Yes, what is going on everyone? Welcome back to GAA Fan TV. A huge congratulations to Roscommon. They have beaten Galway by four points in the Connacht final at Pierce Stadium. Huge victory for Roscommon. Um, their second Connacht title in three years and just their third, I believe, since 2010. Huge achievement for Roscommon. Another horrible day at the office for Galway. If yesterday wasn't bad enough, today might be even worse. Um, the only good thing is, of course, is that Galway still have a chance to uh, rectify this by going into uh, the qualifiers. But looking at some of the teams already in there, who knows if Galway will even make it out of there. And judging by this performance, especially in that second half, they have um, a lot of work to do, in my opinion. But of course, first of all, guys, if you are new around here, if you are new to the channel, uh, do hit that like button, hit that subscribe button as well. Let me know down in the comments below what you thought of the game. Um, and of course, yeah, guys, we're going to jump straight into the match reaction of this game. Um, and yeah, certainly, you know, it was a very intriguing game, a very interesting tactical battle between these two counties who know each other so well. They've played each other, um, I think, four years in a row now in the Connacht final, which um, which tells you everything you need to know about these two counties. And um, yeah, certainly in the opening stages, Russ Common looked pretty bright. They were nullifying Galway's attack quite well. Connor Hussey looked very well in the fence for us, Common, um, and they did. They did start well in the opening stages. They, you know, they were both sides were trading blow for blow, but certainly Russ Common looked more up for it in that opening ten to fifteen minutes. Galway still looked bright as well, though, uh, getting the ball to Michael Daly, Shane Walsh, of course, as well, who was, you know, so often their star player. Um, and by his standards, he had a pretty poor game in many respects, but I don't really want to put the blame on Shane Walsh because I don't think his teammates helped him out enough. Um, and I think, you know, you really have to look at that Galway midfield and defence, or midfield more so, and attack for really being poor. Um, but certainly Shane Walsh didn't deliver um, to his high standards. But of course, in that first half, Ross Common did seem to run out of energy a bit. Galway were pressing very high up the pitch. Which and the tactics did work quite early on. Roscommon looked a bit puzzled, and it was looking like once Galway started to build a lead, that they were going to be very difficult to catch. Um, and, and Galway went five clear at half time. They were looking very good. Roscommon were running out of energy massively in the first half. They couldn't seem to put many passes together, losing the ball in the midfield. Their kickouts weren't quite up to scratch either, um, and it wasn't looking good for Roscommon. But in the second half, Slowly but surely, Russ Common started to narrow down that lead. Um, fantastic performance by Enda Smith. He was very good on his. Of course, then Dermot Murta as well, who is Russ Common's leading scorer at the moment in this team um, over the past couple of years. And he got himself a, a very good goal in this game. He hit three points as well. Um, huge performance from Dermot Murta. Connor Cox as well. He has been. A player that's really impressed me in the past couple of weeks. He was fantastic in that game against Mayo at Castle Bar. And he was outstanding in this game again at Pierce Stadium. Huge performance from Connor Cox. And, and just all around, you would have to say that, um, you know, Ross Common were just far better in the second half. I think it took Galway 21 minutes just to register their first point in the second half. And just one of two points in that second half, a miserable second half performance by Galway. They just completely ran out of motivation. Um, they just they just couldn't muster any attacks at all. They they were losing every kick out. Their their passing wasn't quite good enough. At times they were getting into the final third, but it looked like Galway were almost afraid to actually take the shot, afraid to go for the point, to believe in their own ability. Um, and hugely surprising by a team with a lot of experience, in my opinion, a team that won the Connacht title last year. The team that made it to the uh, league final. And the rain is just absolutely murdering down here at the moment. Holy wow. Some summer being in Ireland, I'll tell you that. But anyway, <laughs> back to what we were talking about. So Galway, they did run out of steam massively um, in that uh, in the second half. And, and Roscommon, you know, you have to give them massive, massive credit. Their will to win, their desire to win, their hunger to just hunt down every ball. Um, and specifically, what really impressed me with this Ross Common side was they didn't panic one bit in that second half. Um, even when the lead was one, two points or when it was level, 
They kept the ball. They were very smart. Niall Kilroy in the midfield, especially the Daly brothers as well, were very good at just keeping the ball, looking for the right openings. And when those openings came, they took their opportunities and took their chances fantastically. Um, and yeah, guys, huge for Ross Common. They go into the Super 8s. Of course, they'll be hoping that they don't see a repeat of what they've seen um, in the Super 8s last year. Um, they will be in the Super 8s with the Leinster champions, champions as far as I'm aware, which we'd all presume to be Dublin. So, um, yeah, guys, you know, you'd have to say massive congratulations to Russ Common for Galway. Yeah, I mean, just a really poor performance. That's one of the poorest um, performances in the second half I've seen from any side in a provincial championship. Um, and that even goes back to when London even made it to the provincial or to the Connacht Championship. Um, a number of years ago, just really poor from Galway. Their their forwards didn't deliver. Their players weren't quite good enough. And yeah, straight back to the drawing board for them. But onwards and upwards for Ross Common and Anthony Cunningham. And you've seen with the fans as well in the closing stages how much it meant for them. Um, yeah, a couple of early pitch invasions, which um, of course was uh, you know you you don't want to see that obviously. But look, listen, you can understand the emotion from those Roscommon fans and yeah just absolutely fantastic for them I wish them the best of luck going into the uh, closing stages and yeah guys my name has been Aaron um, do drop a like hit that subscribe button all that good stuff and I will see you all next time